Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Chris, my friend Chris, are you with us? I know you are somewhere. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> good evening, Hello. everyone. Bonjour, Chris. Hello. Good, good, good Hello. afternoon. Evening, not sure depending on where you are on this beautiful day. So, hello everyone, hi, welcome, welcome, Chris, my friend Chris. We have a bit of echo there, just bear me a second. I'm sorry, I think it's my fault actually. Here you go, that was my fault. And you know, it's funny because I said to Chris yesterday, uh, I said, Be careful because if you do that, there's going to be an echo, and you know what? That's exactly what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, you are with us for a little while, but it's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to talk about something that I think everybody loves travel, right? Especially right now where we cannot really travel. So it's pretty cool to look forward to it, right? So I suggest we start right now. We have a little video and after that, Chris going to uh, talk a little bit more about everything we have prepared for you. So stay with us. Welcome again. And we hope you're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Introducing Norwegian Prima. The first in a new class of ships. Made for the trailblazers and tastemakers. For first time seekers and explorers of the spectacular. Made for you. With more wide open spaces to enjoy the great wide open. Rooms that have more room. and service that puts you first. Be the first to discover a new experience at sea. Norwegian Prima, coming summer 2022. Yeah, he, yeah, coming next summer. I'm so excited about it. I, I mean, it's a brand new ship. We have a lot of information actually for you tonight, but first off, Let's talk about the actual star of the show. So this is actually Chris here. So Chris, the stage is yours. Okay, uh, well, thank you again, everyone, for joining us tonight. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Chris Caulfield. I'm with Cruise One. Um, I've been a travel advisor for eight years now, just coming up on my eighth anniversary. And I specialize in cruises, pretty much all I do. And one of my favorite cruise lines actually is Norwegian. It's the one I prefer to go on. Um, just because I love the freestyle concept, the just the whole vibe on board is great. The entertainment is great. Uh, this is from my 2019 Christmas cruise on the Bliss, um, where, you know, uh, this is my favorite spot, actually, on my balcony, enjoying the view, enjoying the ocean. But I just love cruising in general. I love the shows. I love the food. I love getting to know other people because it seems so much easier to talk to people when you're on a cruise. So it is my preferred mode of vacation with my family. And just so in case you know, this is Cindy. She is my business manager with Norwegian. So she is my connection. So when I have issues or you have issues that need to get taken care of, she helps get it all straightened out. So you make sure, so we ensure you have an, an enjoyable cruise. So, and we're gonna have a great night tonight. We're gonna learn a lot about the Prima. And we're also gonna learn a little bit about Norwegian in case you are new to the cruise line. Indeed, thanks a lot, Chris. That was a brilliant introduction. And yes, indeed. So myself, I work directly for Norwegian and I am what we call a very, very fancy title, either business development manager, account manager. Maybe you heard about those people, right? So basically what we do, we work only with travel advisors such as Chris, because you know what? in the background, behind the scene, maybe you don't know, but they're working really, really hard to, to do a lot of things for you. And first thing first, to secure the best deals ever, right? Everybody wants to get a good vacation, but if we get an actual deal with it, I think actually we even have a better vacation, right? So like travel advisors like Chris, uh, you know what they know is when to secure those prices, because you know what? It's not a secret that in the industry, travel industry, and with cruise lines, airlines, hotels, 
prices, they go up and down all the time. It depends on what we call the seasonality. So when you want to travel, is it on peak time during summer, for example, or is it actually when there's a lot of demand shortage? It really depends. So in the end of the day, maybe you're like, oh, when should I book? Should I be like a year in advance or two weeks before? I don't know. So that's where actually a travel advisor like Chris could really help you because if he's unsure, he's just calling me <laughs> and he say, Cindy, I want the best deal for my clients and I want them now. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's talk about it. And let's make it happen. And indeed as well, so Chris is there to help you before, during and after your vacation, right? So every step of the way and every question you may have, I am here as well to help and provide the answers if there's any concerns, uh, any issues, never know, right? I'm coming from France where strikes is the national sport. So this is where having a travel advisor to help you when the uh, unknown happens, I would say this is the best thing ever. And that's just fantastic at sharing their own travel experience. Actually, it's funny because for the story, uh, Chris was on the bliss there. And I believe this was for the conference of your travel agency, that picture, right? Uh, it was actually Christmas, right before... Oh, that was Christmas. That was Christmas. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, my first cruise with Norwegian, believe it or not, that was on the Norwegian Bliss, and I was a true uh, a true guest on board, right? On uh, attending, actually, a conference. And you know what? I liked it so much that two months later, and I'm not joking, two months later, I was working for Norwegian Cruise Line. That's how I liked it. <laughs> All righty, so just a few words about who we are. So Norwegian Cruise Line, we actually the third largest cruise line in the world. So we have actually different brands in our group, but today we talk about NCL, Norwegian Cruise Line. We have 17 ships, soon 18, actually with Norwegian Prima, and we visit more than 450 ports in the world. So there's a lot of places to go, a lot of things we can talk about, but tonight we are going to focus on Norwegian Prima. This is, I mean, I love cruising and I love cruising for lots of reasons because I'm well-traveled, I think, and I'm sure Chris is as well, and maybe yourself. And basically, usually there's two different things you can consider for going on a vacation. Should I go on a cruise or should I go in a hotel? That's the most common questions. And to be honest, why I love cruises, so I don't ask you guys to read all of that. Maybe you can keep it for later, but we can do at least the same, if not better, than having a hotel stay in. Let's take, for example, a little map. So this is actually a random map. I told you we go everywhere in the world. But imagine, nowadays, I think for all of us, it's the same deal. It's like, we don't have so many days we can spend every year for a vacation. We look to optimize our time, quality time. And we don't want to waste our time and see a maximum of things, right? So we can come back with a ton of pictures to make friends and family jealous. <laughs> I think if you don't know what social media we're for, that's it, you're with me. So for example, I took this beautiful itinerary that we offer. And this one, you could see it's in Australia, uh, New, New Zealand itinerary. Imagine if you had to do the very same itinerary without reading my table by land. If you had to change hotels, uh, catch flights, maybe wake up for some bus or shuttle to the airport and maybe spend half of your days in the said buses just to go from point A to point B. Uh, not fun actually to waste half of your time in transportation because transportation is a big thing. With us, not only your hotel is going to be the cruise ship, it's going to travel for you at night. So you have nothing else to do to wake up and enjoy your coffee, watching the ocean from your balcony and wake up every day or almost in a different location see different things as well, if not different countries. And as well, everything pretty much is included. We have now an offer, which is called Free at Sea, where basically we copy the concept of the all-inclusive resorts with the biggest perk being a limiting drinking package. And that you can find in on the cruise ship. So completely worry-free. You just wake up, you have to pack and unpack only once. And the only transportation you need to take is before your cruise and after your cruise. So that's where actually uh, the cruise is fantastic. You will find the same level of 
food, entertainment that you could expect in any hotel. So if you have young ones, if you're more relaxed, more in the spa type like me, definitely you can find what you want on a cruise ship. There will be no time to actually um, get bored. I would say you can be relaxed. You can be looking for fun. You will find it. And finally, what I like, it's about the whole picture. So it's up to you to choose. Do you want to have this picture when you travel? Or do you want to step back a little bit and get the full picture alongside the countries you're going to visit? I think the answer is pretty obvious. But now let's go actually into our actual, actual presentation about Norwegian Prima. So Prima actually in Italian means the first. So this is why you may see a lot of first everywhere. We just have launched the ship on May the, uh, May the 12th. So just like a little bit like almost two months ago. Oh my God, time flies. So you may have seen, probably you've seen a lot about her uh, on TV, newspapers, social media. We were, for example, on Good Morning America on the first day of the launch. So that was a, a really a lot of fun. So this ship, maybe if you actually are uh, used to what Norwegian is doing, I said a little bit before we have 17 ships. All those ships are divided into classes. So each class is a different concept of ship, maybe different size, different entertainment on board. So here it's a brand new class and a brand new ship. So it's going to come for the first time from the summer next, uh, next year. And this beauty, because she is a true beauty, we called her Prima because we really wanted to get our guest being the first. First of everything, for everything we have thought about when we designed this ship was keeping in mind you first, our guest. So it will be all about details. And we love that. You know, myself, my favorite travel experience are when I am somewhere and I have the wow effect, you know? So, and what's the wow effect? That's something you didn't expect because it's hiding somewhere in the small details. So right now we are still at the big reveal stage, which means like we have actually disclosed to the public some information, but it's not everything. So stay tuned for sure. Uh, but really exciting things came out already. Next, more information should be for about what? September, October, so stay tuned. But here's actually the overview of our beautiful ship. So she will be completely completed actually in 2022. And what I love it's about the size, because you know what? Nowadays, some other cruise lines uh, in, in, in the same category than us, they decided basically to do a bet. And this bet is the bigger, the better, right? We heard about them. But the thing is, you know, we, we thought about it at Norwegian and was like, okay, the bigger is cool, of course, but what if you still bring more passengers? In the end of the day, it won't change really, really too much thing. So what we have decided to do is to keep the same size. So us, actually the maximum size we have is about 4,200 passengers in our fleet. Right now, we don't intend to go higher. Actually, we will keep that size roughly, but we will remove 400 cabins approximately. So it's about 800 passengers in average. And what we're going to do with that space, we will give it back to you, to our guest. So I think this is just amazing because when we thought about designing the ships, you know, we just ask our guests, what do you want? <laughs> what would be the perfect ship for you? And actually, pretty much everybody's coming back like, we want more space. We are on a cruise ship. It's big enough. It's fantastic. But what if we had more space on board for activities in the rooms, of course, and that's what we've done. So right now on Norwegian Prima, you would get actually, we will welcome on board 3,215 passengers. I should say only because the size of this ship is what usually nowadays we have for 4,000 passengers. So I think this is just amazing. So then you're going to ask me, okay, Cindy, that's great, but what are you gonna do with that space, right? Is it going to be empty? No, <laughs> of course not. So the first thing is that we are really going to open completely the ship looking out. That's our concept um, because that's what our clients wanted. They wanted to have more space inside to enjoy, but as well outside because there's something, there's one thing we love in cruising, it's seeing water right watching the waves and hearing the wave and just like watching the water have this feeling you know of infinity 
I mean, it's, I know it sounds cheesy, but believe me, when you are actually on the ship experiencing that, it's just amazing. That's my favorite thing. You know, when I have my room, usually a balcony, I love stepping out either in the morning at the, sun, at the sunrise or maybe in the middle of the night when it's pitch black and just like listen to the waves. That's something that is absolutely beautiful. As well as I said, because it's Norwegian Prima, this is all about service. And this service we puts you first or guest. We thought about it for the design. You will see that our design is as well really new. And as well, we will have lots of experiences on board, lots of them new to ensure that you have the wow factor. So we will be the first to introduce a lot of things, first for Norwegian, but as well first for the industry. I'm talking about all the other uh, cruise ship that you can find today. So for Norwegian, for the first time, we are going to introduce the food hall. So I'm going to come into that in just a second, but that's something you can find actually in lots of cities uh, nowadays. As well, for the first time, we're going to have a glass bridge. And that thing, I think this is just amazing. I'm, I'm just going to go into another slide for that. But glass bridge, stay with me. You are going to be on a bridge completely made of glass, 50 feet above the ocean line. I mean, this is just amazing. And that would be on both sides of the ship. As well, we will have for the first time infinity pool. You can see this beautiful picture. I'm so jealous right now. I'm not sure for you, Chris, but <laughs> now I would love to dive a little bit in that pool, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this also. This is one of the features I'm looking forward to most. Oh, me too. And you can see actually that like, you really have to look close to see where is the limit between the ocean and you. And that's what we really wanted to do with Norwegian Prima is to connect basically with the ocean. As well, for the first time, we will have an outdoor sculpture garden with six sculptures. So it will, it will enable you to do like a lot of very cool pictures. As well for the industry, for the very first time, we will offer uh, an exclusive suite, suite complex located at the aft uh, overlooking the ship's wake. So if you're not used to actually the vocabulary <laughs> of the ship, it means the back of the ship, basically. And I'm going to come into that in a second. And the first infinity pools locating on both sides, starboards and port sides. So port side being the left and actually starboards being the right hand side. That is just absolutely beautiful. So today I'm going to talk about one deck for now, because remember, we just had a big reveal, but still to give you a little, little taste of what's going to expect you on board. So this deck, which is going to be no, the deck number eight, will be called Ocean Boulevard. So you can see actually here the plan of that deck. So this, is, this will be similar in the concept with what we've been doing actually in the latest class of ships that is called nowadays the waterfront. So the waterfront actually, this is where a deck where you find multiple bars and restaurants. The idea was to a little bit like downtown, right? You go downtown your city, you have those streets where there's only about party, bars, restaurants, so you just have to pick your favorite choice. So that's a bit the same concept. On those decks, you will have actually entertainment activities and we have opened a few years back, we decided actually to open the space outside. That actually for years and years was just used to do like nothing but walking. <laughs> we said, what if we would improve the experience of our guests by providing an actual terrace concept? So with tables at the restaurants and actual comfy sofas and seats at the bars. So you have literally like any bars and restaurants downtown of your city, indoor and outdoor seating which is just amazing. Myself, I was on the Norwegian getaway, uh, actually for the holidays two years ago, and I had a beautiful and very romantic dinner at the sunset, actually, uh, of, at Cagney, which was the steakhouse, and it was beautiful. It was in Caribbean, it was the blue ocean, it was the orange of the colors. It was absolutely fantastic. So that was great. So the waterfront actually exists and is about 19,500 square, square feet. What we have decided to do is go like a big, big step forward with actual Norwegian Prima. So you can see that right now, the actual outdoor space has been more than doubled. We will be like 44,000 square feet. And instead of having just only, if I may say, which was great, don't get me wrong, you have this sort of horseshoe U-shaped waterfront. 
right now the deck will be entirely wrapped around. So it means you will have, be able, you know, for, for guests who love, like for example, running in particular, having uh, having long walk, you won't have to turn back. You can do the whole loop, and you can see actually here those two things there. It's going to be the glass bridges. Yes, they're going to be located here. And the affinity pool, they're going to be located there. All restaurants, you can see them here. They will be located. So it's not all the restaurants. Once again, reveal stage, just a very few we're going to talk about today. And if you wonder what's going to happen in the white, it's like, shh, that's a secret. It's going to come a little bit later. So if we have to compare, basically like a cruise ship that as it exists today with Norwegian offering the waterfront, we have decided to keep the best, of course. So for example, outdoor uh, dining and bar and seating areas, we will keep them. But in addition, you will find, so the wraparound entire decks, the pool decks, premium outdoor lounge as well. We want to actually replicate the concept of being at the beach. So that's going to be great. The glass bridges and the sculpture garden. So just a few words, extra words about infinity beach, because that's what the outdoor is going to be actually called. So when you will have this place with the infinity pool and you will get actually day beds all around. So we love it because most of cruise ships nowadays, including ourselves, to be honest, we have pretty much all the, the, the swimming pool on the top deck only. So right now you're going to have those two on the deck number eight. So it means that as well our guests will be able to spread naturally across the ship. So I think it's where it really is going to help actually the feeling to more space because not everybody is going to focus on the actual swimming pool at the same time, for example, and they're going to be on both sides. Here is a little more picture about the glass bridge. Imagine the, the pictures you will be able to do. <laughs> I'm like, it's going to be just great. That's the first thing I am going to do as well. So it's like, if you would like to see more about it, so raise your hand, I'm sure you would. <laughs> Finally, a little peek on the outdoor sculpture garden as well. We have six sculptures in total. So those will be really inspired by the Greek culture and as well, as well the idea of water. So this is why you can see it's a bit wavy. It's very fluid, so we love it. My apologies to the artist because I love what you're doing, but I cannot tell your name properly. So Alexander Krivoshev, and I'm sorry if it's not that. <laughs> One day I will manage to say it properly, but it would be fantastic just for souvenirs, right? Your souvenirs would be on the land, but they would definitely be on the ship as well. So on board, what will be your experience? You're going to ask. So if you are a past NCL guest, you will find exactly the same. That's what you found nowadays and why Norwegian is very famous and loved for. It's called the freestyle experience. There's actually just a little bit of backstory. Um, there's actually some cruise line, even nowadays, and us in the past, we actually used to do something called assigned dining time. And it doesn't sound funny, and it's not. Basically, it goes back to the ages where cruise ships used to be smaller or where the spaces would be taken for something else than the restaurant or the kitchen. So it works a little bit the same then. For example, if you go to a restaurant anywhere near your home, they would actually ask you to arrive at certain time. And then when the quota is reached, they would say, oh, sorry, this, you cannot arrive at 7.30, come at 8. That is to ensure that the service is running properly with the kitchen. So not everybody comes at the same time because uh, a bit of traffic jam, right? Nobody wants to wait for their food, especially when you're hungry. That's somebody from France talking there. <laughs> and food is a big topic. So here what we have done is that when we have actually Norwegian, if you didn't know, we offer the youngest fleet at sea. So what does it mean? It means that our oldest ship were are basically back from the early 2000s, which is still very young for an actual cruise ship. Most actually would even be like the, the, the most recent one, Norwegian Anchor. Uh, she was built in 2019. So just before actually like, uh, we had uh, something called COVID, uh, not talking about it tonight, we, we want to have fun. So basically we have, you remember when I was saying that we thought about you when we designed the Prima, we did the same job before. So when we wanted to design a new ship, we haven't sure we would make them big enough to have big kitchen and restaurants and enough dining venues. 
So you don't need to have an assigned dining time. So nobody's going to tell you, you need to be at the restaurant at seven every night, otherwise you miss your spot and you need to wait in line. So that is what's happening even nowadays still on lots of other cruise lines, not with us. Depending on our ships, we have up to 26 dining venues. Yes, 26. So basically they can be uh, available for early dining to uh, late dining. So there's virtually no waiting. And we have ensured that pretty much next to every restaurant, there would be a bar. So even though you have a very specific restaurant you want to go, you didn't book, you don't want to book, what we would do is like, we would give you a pager and we would say, just enjoy, have a seat, enjoy a lovely drink. And just when your table is ready, your pager is going to vibrate. And here you go. The maximum I had to wait myself on one of our ship was 10 minutes. And because I really wanted the specific locations and time, but 10 minutes is nothing. I didn't have the time to finish my drinks. Chris, actually, do you have any favorite restaurants? Uh, um, I'd have to say Cagney's is probably my favorite on board restaurant. Um, the steak, the fries, it's just, it's just a great experience all around. So. We love, we love our steakhouse. I cannot, I cannot agree more. My favorite, I'm always between two. We have two restaurants, which are, one is Italian and it's called Onda by Scarpetta. We have actually introduced uh, this new restaurant on Norwegian Anchor. It's like the truffle polenta. I still remember it very vividly. And as well, we have Ocean Blue, which is like our seafood restaurant. And the surf and turf is just magical. So dining as well goes the fact that we want you to be relaxed. You are on vacation, right? So we started the fact that you can eat when you are hungry. No assigned dining time with Norwegian. And the same is like the, the, the fact you don't have any assigned dining time will enable you to come back from a busy day at port and have a nap or a shower and you don't have to wake up and prepare or rush for the dining. Uh, if you want to see a Broadway show because we have some on board, you, would, you won't have actually to be disappointed because your table was at seven and the show was starting at 7.30. That's what's going to freestyle will enable you to do. And as well, no uh, fixed dining time is a thing, but the dress code as well, we want you to be relaxed. So it means like for gentlemen, no need to wear a tie or a jacket. Some of the cruise lines even nowadays are a little old fashioned for that. Or you don't need, for example, if you have a lovely pair of jeans and a nice sweater, that's fine, right? No swimsuit in the dining room. <laughs> we still have a little bit of limitation, but I think we're good with that. So all of that together, that will enable you to have a great experience on the natural vacation experience. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, some part of the foothold. So I mentioned it a little bit before. Remember when I was talking about the beach vibe, so we will still offer actually for the first time. So what's a food hall actually? A food hall is a little bit like you will have different stations offering different kinds of food. And we will have indoor and outdoor seating. So you could choose to be indoor or you could be like on those hammocks. You could have actually just sit down next to the fire pits or sit on one of those tables next to this beautiful view or those beautiful uh, sofas. Or you can choose indoor. So a few of those options we will have, for example, and some of them are actually like the good ones we like, like Starbucks. We have them on not the whole fleet, but, uh, but quite quite um, almost over our, our ship. So Starbucks, to me, that's a big deal. <laughs> it is really a big deal. And we know it's a big deal for lots of you. I literally moved into my building because there's a Starbucks on the ground floor. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> so for me, big deal. As well, you will have, for example, noodles for the first time. So everything around pastas and noodles. If you love your carbs, it's your station. And we have cocos that we already offer in some of our ships with delicious ice cream. And we will have the garden, so which is going to be more like for vegetarian slash uh, vegans as well. So first time we're going to have a place entirely dedicated for that. So there will be 11 stations in total, so lots of taste. And that will not be the only dining options, right? Keep, stay with us. Uh, uh, as well, we will have some more casual offers. So for example, we will have the local bar and grill. So this one is already famous. That's what made Norwegian famous as well, because this is on, on the whole fleet. So it can be known under the name of Ocean on actually the dual class, which is the oldest one, or actually uh, the local on some other ships. So basically, it's a, it's a kind of usually a kind of pub slash bar concept. 
where it's open 24 seven and where you have actually free dining options, free, free dining menu, I should say, available 24 seven. So it's a pub concept. So the kind of food you can expect, it would be like either pub or actually snacks, but those are delicious. I mean, we, we talk about, I don't know, Chris, if you tried actually the wings, any chance? Yes. Yes, yeah, I, do you, I the wings do you remember I, those? <laughs> yeah, those? Those are great. And I, I love the local just because you, if you're in port for the day and you come back a little early, you can get something to eat, you sit down, it's a nice place just to grab something to eat. And even at night you, while you're having a drink, you can order a small appetizer. It's it's a great experience there. I love it. And it's it's 24 seven as well. So you will see with our itineraries, especially with Prima, we're going a little bit everywhere in the world. So which means that, and I have this struggle because I'm European. So when I travel to Europe, well, my tummy might still be on American dining time for a while. So if you have actually an option open 24 seven uh, with free options, you know, you can come just have a little walk. If you have a little bit of travel to sleep and then you will find your, your, um, your happiness here. So in Dutch, we've been into that. So that's going to be the full hall. We will have as well, actual seating restaurants. So we like Los Lobos, which is our Mexican venue that is already on some of our uh, ships, very famous for the homemade guacamole. And as well, ha, huh, my favorite, <laughs> on that by Scarpeta, so which is more the fine dining, uh, fine dining options. So, but there will be more, so stay tuned for that. We hope you, we, we will, I'm sure we made you hungry a little bit already. So <laughs> it does with me. So now let's talk about accommodation. So just a little peek about the concept uh, and the kind of room we will offer. So we really wanted first to bring the concept of boutique hotel back on a cruise ship. So we really designed carefully uh, decorations, really tasteful. If you see those pictures, I mean, just those things with the, uh, the actual um, uh, butterflies, actually, I think they are just amazing. It's so tasteful. I love the colors. I love everything. What we have done as well is that's going to talk to you, especially if you're a past cruiser. And I think this is this is pretty common to lots of cruise lines. Cabins in contemporary markets, so the, 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 the kind of similar, uh, similar cruise line than us, they all pretty much look the same. Like a balcony is a balcony and you have a closet, usually pretty close to the bed. <laughs> so you need to tweak a little bit when you need to prepare to go to dinner. So what we have done is just like, thought again about the layout and we changed a few things that enables to save and open more space. Just a little thing. We will move actually the beds from what used to be pretty much the middle of the room to close to the window, to the slide window. So you can literally like wake up, open your eyes and you will see first thing you see will be the water. First step you take, you sit down on your bed, you get out directly on your balcony. And that I think is absolutely wonderful. We have reduced as well the vanity area because we noticed that actually not so many people would use it that much. So we keep actually the, the bare minimum, but in the addition, we have actually, uh, now we will offer larger bathroom, shower room, I should say. So the shower would be bigger in particular. And that if you are a past NCR cruiser, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that will be more comfort in the end of the day. So we will as well offer, so inside, outside of the, the inside, outside and balcony state rooms that you can find usually on any cruise ship, we will as well offer the studio. So the studio are available not on the whole fleet, um, it's about 11 ships, where we offer those cabins designed for solo travelers. And those, we love them. So if you want to know more about it, ask Chris, it's, it's fantastic to, to explain that. So those are designed and located in an area that is completely secured and accessible only by solo travelers thanks to their key card. So if especially if you are like solo ladies, but well, eh, solo gentlemen as well, um, we know that our guests absolutely love those because they feel secured and there's even a lounge that is exclusive to solo travelers. They can meet up, they can organize parties, happy hours, or meet up, just mix and mingle, right, to make new friends. Don't get me wrong, it's not Tinder at sea. No. <laughs> it's not the concept at all. Uh, it's like more fun because we had more and more, you know, we have guests, they're like, either they are not in couple anymore or sometimes they wait after their friends, but nobody's available when they can travel. So they're like, you know what? I want to go on my own and I'm fine with that. And then studio is the perfect option. And as well, we offer some, some rates that will be 
usually lower than what you would actually have to pay if you go for an actual standard cabin. Yes, so what I've, stayed in those, I've stayed in the studio before. They, they, they are very well designed and it works out great for a solo traveler. It, it really is a great concept. I love it. I stayed as well in one of those. And they are, to be extremely honest, they might be a little bit smaller than, than an actual cabin designed for two people. Makes sense. But yes, the price would be friendly. Once again, you have your exclusive lounge. It's You would totally win uh, on this one. Uh, in addition, of course, we will offer any kind of suites. So those are great. So for example, we have the, the club balcony suite, which used to be called mini suites in the past, and as well suites that can accommodate up to six uh, people, for example. So those, as you can see, they will be pretty limited. Balcony, no, balcony will be majority of our, of our, of our cabins because that's actually what people want to go for but like for example club balcony we have 48 only available suites 36 those go really really fast so if you have a big family or maybe you want to travel with friends uh, i think that would be a fantastic option of course we keep the best for the last uh it's the haven by norwegian so if you never heard of it, so the Haven is a little bit the concept of a ship within the ship. So that's an exclusive area only for Haven guests. And if there's one keyword, it's luxury. That's why we wanted to bring to our guests. So basically it's everyone who wants to really have like uh, your private butler, dedicated butler, I should say 24 seven, your private concierge, I mean, it is delivered like treats delivered to your room every day. Uh, you would have your uh, exclusive patio, for example, or decks on the top, for example, with the, with the actual infinity pool. It's all about exclusivity. This area only for Haven guests. And those actually you're going to ask, OK, but who actually can come there? So you could have actually large families because we can have some villas up to eight people which is just amazing. And as well as like, imagine if you actually uh, used to travel in style, to call it that way, sometimes you may, you may be willing to find luxury, but luxury cruise line nowadays, they tend to offer smaller, uh, smaller cruise ships with not so many activities, no theater because they are smaller. So here, that's where you can combine both. You would be on your private area, all luxury, and when you want to go downtown, remember Ocean Boulevard with restaurants, bars, we will have theaters, of course, and many more activities. That's where the, the, the concept is. And for the first time, we will have the haven located at the aft, so the back of the ship. Why, you will tell me, why we didn't do it before? It's because so far, little mechanical thing, the engine used to be at the back of the ships and for the first time, Thanks to a miracle that I have no idea how it works, but it's fantastic. The engines will be actually located in the middle of the ship. So there will be no noise at the back. There will be no fumes. There will be absolutely nothing. And that's what will be available for the Haven. So the, the pictures on the left-hand side, this is what exists today, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong. This is absolutely fantastic. So the idea is that to come from looking in when these areas, like the private pool you can see, was on the inside was pretty much indoor, even though we have the ceiling, this beautiful ceiling that can open depending on weather. Uh, right now, it's going to be completely looking out. We're going to be outside. Look at that view. <laughs> Look at this view. It's just absolutely fantastic. We will keep everything that what the Haven was made famous for, personalized service, exclusive benefits, uh, thoughtful thought, um, thought touches, and as well extras. All of that, you will keep it. It will you will be pampered from beginning to 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 ending. We will even for the first time and have a first offer actually some sweets with actual hot tubs. Yes, we will have them. This hot tub can be yours. <laughs> I wish it could be mine. So you will have the haven. There will be a hundred and seven sweets available only. Not all of them will be will get actually the hot tub that's very limited and believe me they are the first to go so with the haven comes your own sun deck spa for the first time first time again we're going to have the private spa for the haven there are there is a spa on every and each of our ship nowadays called the mandara spa but it was not private 
for the Haven guests so far. It was for everybody. Now you're going to get your own spa. Restaurant, lounge and bars also will become exclusive to our Haven guests. So if you have anniversary, if you want to celebrate, if you, if you just want to pamper yourself, please talk to Chris about the best way to secure your reservation on the Haven. Then we will go now into, okay, beautiful ships, fantastic options, amenities, but where is it going, right? That's what we want to know. So the actual Norwegian Prima, she will be uh, available. She will start actually a big voyage from summer next year, 2022. So it's just a year ahead. Time flies, ladies and gentlemen. Time flies very fast. So prepare now if you would like to go. So she will be built actually in Europe. So basically that's where she's going to start. So we will offer uh, 10 days Europe North uh, actual itineraries from Amsterdam, Copenhagen. So we will go actually to, the, to, to those uh, beautiful uh, things like Finland, like Sweden, for example. That's really out of bid on track itineraries. And in summer, it's going to be beautiful. And once we're done with those couple of itineraries, we will have a transatlantic who has never been actually or willing to go on the transatlantic. You know, like those dream cruise, if you think about this movie with Leo and Kate, yes, we want to do a transatlantic. We will arrive on that one, I swear. <laughs> but that's, that's part of the dream. It's what we call actually bucket list. And that's why I like with those itineraries. Bucket list is those kind of itineraries destination where you swore yourself you would go at least once in your lifetime. Norwegian, this is why we go everywhere in the world. And transatlantic typically would, would fall onto a, a, a bucket list. What would be your bucket list destination, Chris? If there's something you haven't done so far, what would be your next destination? If you could like jump in a plane tomorrow and have unlimited dollars, where would you go? Um, probably to Europe, to Northern Europe. I want to do the Northern Europe itinerary. Guess what? We have a ship going there. <laughs> <laughs> so then when she will be back, we will start actually our journeys to Bermuda from New York. Um, and as well going from, uh, from New York to Southern Caribbean for 12 days. That I love those. Uh, Bermuda, especially during the, when we head to the winter, it's a nice break. Five days, perfect, just to catch a little bit of fun, of sun, and then going to Southern Caribbean from New York. And for the first time, Galveston as well in Texas. We have one itinerary starting from Galveston, so it's going to be a fun one. So here, for example, one of those itineraries uh, that I have actually prepared for you, that's the one actually starting from Amsterdam. So that's a 10-day cruise uh, starting from uh, Amsterdam, but visiting Germany, Russia, Sweden, Amsterdam, Netherlands. So it, like, you can go to Tallinn, St. Petersburg as well. It's like, it's just amazing. Let's just face it. And once again, remember the beginning of my presentation when I was like, remember if you had actually to travel by your, by your own way, like catching a flight, catching a bus, whatever, you don't want to do that. Imagine in one single itinerary, you will be able to see as many different places as it goes. In winter 22 and 23, so she will actually head to Miami and Orlando before coming back to New York. And in the meantime, you will be able to go to Western Caribbean and Bermuda as well, especially for the winter. We love the ship to be there because we are on the catch a little sun once again. So an example of our itinerary departing from Orlando. And remember, same for New York, same for Orlando, all the other cities. What I love again with cruising is that you can come a couple of days before and actually explore the city where we are departing from. I think that's where the biggest deal is. Here, Orlando, guess what? If you have families, perfect. Just go on a theme park, for example. Orlando is the perfect do way to do that. So here, we would actually uh, come back and forth from and to Orlando, going to Mexico, Grand Cayman, and the best for the last, which is Great, Great Stirrup Key, which is a private island. It belongs to Norwegian, and that's exclusive to our guests. So that's a fantastic seven-day itinerary. I really love it. As well, finally, finally, before new itineraries are released in winter 23, uh, summer 23, sorry, she will do what I call the ultimate transatlantic because she will head back to Europe. So she will depart from New York and she will stop 
in Iceland. And that's why I love. It's not the actual only London to New York transatlantic. For this one, you would depart from New York. You would, for example, start, stop actually for a couple of ports in beautiful Canada and actually make your way uh, up to Iceland. And I think this is just amazing because it's something, it's an itinerary that is unknown for. And just after that, actually, I don't have the map here, but as soon as you would debark actually in Reykjavik, the ship, the ship would just start our journey to London, to Southampton. So you would, and visiting actually another few European part, ports on the way. So you would really literally be able to do like back-to-back -back cruises. Why not? Two in a row and get the best transatlantic ever. So this one, Iceland is a very, very popular destination. They invested a lot actually to uh, advertise on those beauties they can offer. So fantastic countries, fantastic people. If you've never seen the, for example, a movie called uh, The Life of Walter Mitty. Actually, it's an amazing movie about travel, very poetic. I invite you to watch it. There's a lot about Greenland and Iceland. All righty. So now, all right. So we had quite a tour. So Chris, do you have any thought about Norwegian Prima, some things you would like to share with, with your guests tonight? Uh, I'm just very excited to learn more about it. I can't wait to hear the next um, release about the information. I'm looking really forward to Ocean Boulevard because the waterfront is actually one of my favorite features on any cruise ship. I think it was a great concept when it came out on the breakaway. So I, I, I'm really looking forward to just everything on this ship. It's very exciting. I totally agree. You know what? A little story will happen. is like the first time I experienced the waterfront, I was there for a conference. And I was working, ah, oh, no fun, but we have Wi-Fi on board, so that's okay. So I was checking my emails and the conference was in the Caribbean. And I remember working and just like looking up and I've seen dolphin passing by in front of me. And I was like, that's the best office I ever had in my life with actual dolphins. So the experience, it's all about the experience. So now we have a lot of great ways to ensure that you will get the best deals ever. So we wanted to talk with Chris about what's happening now, because you know what? We do not ask you guys to necessarily jump into a plane tomorrow, right? We know what's happening right now and things are getting better. We are very happy about it. Uh, our ships are actually coming back to where in August. So that's great news. But it's not because you cannot go now that you should not prepare. To be extremely honest, what we've seen is that so many of our guests had to cancel their vacation plans for what, almost a year and a half, to be honest. Like, it's not only about cruises. They had to cancel maybe weddings or hotel stays. And they're like, we all want to go as soon as possible. So what's happening is that there's a lot of reservation. Yes, lots of our guests we secure, especially for now, for the end of the year in 2022. So the idea is, just check what's available in terms of deals and secure the deals. You know what? Because with us, there's only one thing you need to actually secure a, a cruise with us. It's a low deposit of $250 per person. You have until four months before travel, 120 days to be exact, to actually uh, pay the final balance on the, uh, on the reservation. If you had to cancel your reservation before that date, we would refund everything you had paid on it. So like, for example, the, and that includes actually the deposit, entirely refundable if you cancel before final payment due date. So no worry, you can secure now. And if you need to reconsider later, that's fine, we understand, right? So nothing hidden with us. So right now, what can you enjoy? There's a lot, check at that, check this one. It's the best combo of promotion you will ever find in, I don't want to say years, that would be a bit big, but at least months, because that is limited time. So what you, got, you can get now and ask Chris actually how to secure that. First, we offer 30% off on all cruises. That's it until the end of the month. But in addition, we have some extra perk. So you can choose the free at sea offer where you would get actually some perks. Depending on your cabin type, you can choose between one to five perks. But you know what? Actually, it's not even that at the moment because until the end of the month, on every cabin type, you can get your five perks, which are open bar, specialty dining, excursion credit, 
Wi-Fi, and as well, extra guests, so third and fourth passenger in your cabin, if you have kids, for example, the neighbors, you never know, you could be together. So you can combine all of that together. So usually, once again, for example, if you have an inside cabin, which is usually almost a portable cabin type, you get one perk out of those five. Right now, you get five, but that's only until very limited time. In addition, you remember when I was talking about transportation to go back and forth to your cruise, right, matters? We know that sometimes we need to fly to go to the port. What we've been doing is like for like more than 150 airports in North America, we offer flights. And if the first passenger on the reservation gets his full fare tickets, the second passenger goes for free, like zero, not even taxes, <laughs> literally zero. We have great fare. So we do not own the airlines. We are cruise lines. We love what we're doing. We're good at that, but we are not airlines, but we work with all the major airlines in North America. And what we do is that we negotiate with them actually prices and allotments. So it means limited time availability as well. If you have a, a, an aircraft with 300 seats, we do not have 300 seats available just for us, we wish, but that's limited time. So imagine the savings is actually you can do, you can make if the second passengers go for free. I booked for myself, actually like a few days ago to Alaska for the end of the year, I saved $500 that way to get my flights to Seattle. So that's a great way to save. And this saving up to you to do what? Either you could like spend it on a few extra cocktails. Yes, that could happen. Uh, or maybe more souvenirs. Oh, why not upgrading, right? If you thought you had a budget only for an ocean view, maybe that saving would enable you to pamper yourself and go into a balcony, right? And finally, very limited time offer. We talk about cruise first. So cruise first, uh, if you didn't know, that's something pretty new. We launched that actually in last November. So this is an amazing concept. It's where you can actually purchase a certificate which is going to be applied towards a future cruise. You're going to pay us, Norwegian, $150, but we will apply $300 on your reservations. So we double basically the money you're going to spend with that certificate. So that's another saving. So remember, saving on the flight, saving ferry personal fund rates, and now even you can go for the certificates. So those certificates are valid, they need to be purchased. Chris can help you to let you know you, or you can purchase them. They are valid for new reservations. So if you already had a reservation with Norwegian, it doesn't work. Uh, but that's for new reservation. You need to, to let Chris know as soon as you make the reservation that you want to purchase the certificates because they need to be purchased before you actually book. So that's important for Chris to know because once it's booked, it's too late. As well, they are non-refundable, but no worry. They are valid for three years. So it means that you have three years to decide where to book and where to go. So you could even purchase one of the certificates today and book in a year time from now, and that's absolutely fine. If they are not used after three years, however, this is what we mean when they are not refundable. Unfortunately, not refund. As well, uh, you would need to know that you can you can apply only one cruise first certificates to your reservation, not per person, but per, per reservation, for them to remember. And they need to be applied at minim, uh, maximum, actually they need to be purchased, sorry, no later than three days after your names are assigned to the cabin reservations and before final confirmation. That's why, once again, ask Chris about it before you book. Some other terms and conditions apply, of course. So here are the highlights. So please ask Chris if you need. But you know what? We have limited time promotion. We even have even better hot, 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 hot deals. <laughs> That's why I call them because they are even like more very limited time, like it could be the VIP of very limited time. So the first one, and that's only until July 15th, and that's actually exclusive to the agency network Chris belongs to. So it means that you cannot find this offer anywhere else. So that's a special onboard credit. So there are actually for every uh, reservation, new reservation you will make until July 15th, you can get an additional onboard credit for balcony, stateroom, and above. 
So all seven nights are longer sailings beginning July 1st. Of, oh, there's a typo, that's this year. <laughs> so basically those, uh, sir, those on board credit is per cabin. And that's $100 for the, for the balcony or club balcony and $200 for suites and haven. So what can you do with an onboard credit? It's basically like going to the spa, for example, purchasing a couple of drinks. That's the kind of things you can do. So unfortunately, that one, I need to say it, it's not available on Norwegian Prima. Oh, so sorry, it's the only exclusion because it's brand new. But still, if you actually want to work on an alternative itinerary, uh, a different ship, different time of the year, of course, Chris would be very happy to help you with any vacation plan. As well, more and more and more limited, we are talking about uh, the freedom cell. So that's only until July 8th. So you have 48 hours, guys, to go. 48 hours. So hurry, hurry. So those cruise for certificates I was talking about, so instead of just having $150 to pay to get $300, you will have certificates valued at $500 and you would need to pay $250. So that's even an extra saving and they work exactly the same way. So valid for three years, not refundable, one per cabin and so on and so on. So those, if you are interested in those certificates, please let, him, let Chris know. And really you have to purchase those maximum by July 8th. So that's super, super, super important. All righty. So now, you know what, Chris, I will let you come back on that because you remember when I was saying he's picking up the phone and say, I want the best answers. I want the little things. So actually Chris negotiated with me pretty hard on that one, but hey, what you're going to do for your client, Chris, if they book with you? So if, if anyone books, obviously by July 15th, uh, we're also going to add a, a bottle of wine and chocolate covered strawberries to your reservation. Wow, that's so cool. I'm coming from France. Wine helps a lot to enjoy more of vacation, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So yes, for free, bottle of wine, chocolate covered strawberries. If you are not drinker, just let us know. We will find a way to switch with another little amenity. But uh, yes, that is valid if you book by July 15th maximum. So go for now. Remember the actual deposit. That's all you need to secure a reservation and then you would be good to go. So now the next step, ladies and gentlemen, pick up your phone, pick up your smartphone, email Chris, and say if you are already interested in some, uh, in some itineraries. Once again, we talked about the Prima tonight. We could spend hours and hours together talking about 450 ports in the world. Uh, no, I don't think you will stand my high pitch voice for such a long time. <laughs> but of course, Chris would be happy to, to help you with that. Um, I suggest we check if we have questions. Uh, of course, we would love to hear from you know, it could be questions or just comments, right? Ladies and gentlemen, if you liked what you hear, just raise your hand. Just tell us what you like, what destination you would like to go. We want to hear from you. If you are in Zoom, you can actually drop a comment. If you are on Facebook, you can also comment, actually. So let us know if you have questions. And I'm checking, actually, as well on my smartphone. Sorry, it's a bit rude, but I'm checking if we have questions on Facebook. <laughs> All righty. I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Maybe we said everything that needed to be said. Uh, remember, this actually session was live on Facebook, which means as well that the video will remain available. So Chris has shared the link uh, actually just before we started. If you're unsure where to find it because you don't have Facebook or, 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 or something, just let us know and we would send you actually a link as well by email, for example. But if you want to watch it again, if you want to share it, share it with your friends because our family, because you would like to go together, of course, uh, please feel free to do so. All righty. So I don't think we have questions, right, Chris? You're on Facebook. I don't think we have. Any questions right now? All righty. So I would just have to say thank you. Thank you, Chris, for having me tonight with you. It was a lot of fun. So do you have any last thoughts or words for your guests? No, I just want to thank you, Cindy, for joining us and for presenting about the Norwegian Prima. Thank everyone for coming and um, look forward to assisting everyone planning their next cruise. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, everybody, and have a great night.